If there's anything else, if there's anything else, a man who was wonderfully made and created by God decided to transform himself into a woman. And who says God is not in heaven watching? He gives you ample opportunity to do all that you feel is good for you. Then when he decides to start his own, at that point you realize, or it may be too late for you to realize, sometimes he gives you another second chance. For you to realize your mistakes and retrieve, withdraw your steps and take the right direction. So this guy right here, his name is Daniel Nsikan, popularly known as J Boogie. He is, according to himself, a transgender. Transgenders are not accepted in Nigeria. It is prohibited unacceptable and not welcomed but over the years daniel and Seekan has been posing as a lady he's a graduate from the prestigious university of calabar in the university he was a, a young boy a young handsome boy very handsome he although he used to make his hair but lecturers queried him and he stopped most times he will cut his hair I mean, when there's long strike of vacation, he keeps the hair to grow. Or whenever he's coming to school, he presses the hair down. He pressed the hair down so the lecturers will not notice. He said, like posting and doing all those kind of things. Whenever they're going for parties, he dresses like a lady. As in right from when he was in the university. Like that, does all those things like women, all those women train of hands. But when he wants to behave like a boy... That was in the university. He behaves very well like a boy. He bounces, he walks like a boy, and acts like a boy. But when they go for all those parties, you see a total transformation. His dress is different. Everything about him changes automatically. He was a very handsome boy. Very, very handsome, I must say. I saw him then. Very handsome young boy. We're thinking maybe he's just doing it for fun and all of those things. But he started saying he's going to cut off his uh, manhood. He's going to do a lot of transformation on his body and all of that people are like and how would you do such a thing he said he wants to be a complete girl his auntie came into the matter i was like your parents have left you and i'm here to take care of you stop this thing you're doing this is that the guy was like coming down till he finished his university as soon as he finished he turned to another thing he started telling his auntie that now he has graduated from the university if she likes, she should not take care of him again. That he's able to take care of himself. That all the money his aunt has spent on him, he's going to refund it to her if she wants. He's going to give her double of what he has spent on him. Right now, his life is in his arms. He's going to take care of himself. He's an adult. He's no longer a child. Are you guys listening? That he's a big boy now. He's no longer a child. He's no longer the boy that his auntie was pushing here and there. He was just respecting her for those times because she was the one spending and taking care of his academics. So now he is a big boy. He's no longer under anybody. He can take care of himself. He's going to refund his auntie's money and do whatever he likes. So now, do whatever he likes. He went on to and all of maybe it was surgery we don't know i think that was it he is also cut off his stuff okay. now he went to do enlargement of the back so the enlargement now has gone sour it has gone not it is not what she actually planned it to be so now people are now calling for help so he made he messaged the world yesterday on his social media handle saying they should hold a particular doctor responsible should anything happen to him Dr. Dima from Covid Girls uh, Hospital in Lagos. So a medical doctor from overseas, a Nigerian medical doctor has taken it upon herself to evangelize to the world that they should please do everything within their past to see that that doctor doesn't get away with this. According to her, she said, Dr. Jazz Hygia, we had a call him. He said, Covid Girls Essential, nothing must happen to J. Boogie. You are messing with the wrong person, the wrong human. Don't think because she is a trans person in Nigeria, then there is no people to fight for her because it will choke you. 
Jebugi has not been able to pass urine for 24 hours now after surgery. And you think it makes sense to dump her in a weird hospital and claim she has kidney issues? What the F? Now the era. So, after the whole surgery, she developed a kidney issue. Very critical condition. Her kidney began to fail. The doctor went on to Dr. Lovett Gia, that's her name. She said, I just listened to a voice note between J. Boogie and Dr. Dima and you are asking him to take a cap. What the F? Your facility is not even in charge of taking him to the hospital. What do you think you are doing? Take full responsibility for J. Boogie and take her to the hospital. How dare you? even operate on her without the patient coming with family or friends. Is this what you people have turned Nigerian's healthcare system to? So this doctor is asking that, why didn't he come with someone? Like you saw the video, she came alone and the videographer, the person that did the, the video should also tell us what really happened. So she's saying because the boy transformed to a lady, maybe the Dr. Dima is thinking her case will not be taken seriously or his case will not be taken seriously. He went on to say, he himself said, the surgeon wants to take my life, please. I have a medical emergency, please. This is the female surgeon's number. COVID girls are saying, she's putting the number here. 07, whatever. If anything happens to me, it's Dr. Dima from COVID girls essential. So this is Jibugi saying, if anything happens to her, they should hold Dr. Dima responsible because ever since the surgery was conducted on him, he has not been able to pass urine for the past 24 hours and then his kidney is in the serious critical condition. So he also shared a, video, a picture of Dr. Dima, both of them when they were on the consulting table before the surgery took place. And that's... The Dr. Lovett Jia is already asking for funds for J. Boogie. He has also sent her account number or his account number on social media that people should please support him. So now you don't have enough money. You went to do enlargement. Meanwhile, the same person, when uh, Bobriski went to do his own enlargement, the girl kept dragging Bobriski, calling Bobriski all sorts of names, saying Bobriski cannot. Uh, manage her normal body now she's going to do transformation that she got created that will be him got created him where he has all the physical physique to look like a woman all of a sudden your business speech is private uh -huh. do the right thing dr dima so dr dima has closed and blocked her page on social media so people will not be able to contact contact again trust nigerians if anything like this they must have bombarded her page with a lot of of abuse as in they go down cause her life finish from her body you understand what i'm saying they must have called her a whole lot of names so she has blocked the channel where people can contact her so due to this bob Risky is also sending his own piece of advice saying that so J boogie was calling her out and saying all sort of things about her when she did her own surgery now it's time for J boogie that she's very happy that this is happening to J boogie that J Boogie does not even have money to go to a good hospital, but was having the mouth to talk about her when she went through her own surgery. Because when she did her own surgery, she was working with the robot, the waterproof, and everything on her arm. And to think that this young boy has been posting pictures, enlarging every part of her, looking as if everything is physically fit and all was given to her by God. Am I even saying her? It's supposed to be he. Say thank you. To what God has given you. God made you a man, appreciate it. If he made you a woman, appreciate it. Let's see what Bob Risky wrote. So Bob Risky says, God, good. What goes around comes around. This boy constantly shaved me when I had my surgery done. There's nothing he did say. He did not say. He has a natural body, blah, blah, blah. He can't go under a knife with all his edited pictures. Karma came so fast. Ah, uh, next time you all should spend money on the best doctors to not work. Doctors signing out in peace. <laughs> so Dave Bobriski is celebrating the fact that this young boy is going through this. What do you guys think? What's your advice to J Boogie in case he makes it? And what do you advise other people? 
we intend to cross to transgender ourselves to change the, the gender and become boys or become girls what do you have to say to them my advice is that you have to appreciate what god has given you you can't create you so be happy for who you are thanks for watching please subscribe and share thanks